Hey, what's up everyone? How you doing? Welcome to Tuck Notes. And boy, do I have some amazing news. And what was up with the today's stock market? Holy smokes. I don't know if you guys were, uh, my, I have a friend and he told me this story, crazy story. He was looking at his, his, his phone and he was looking at the, the, the stock that we talked about the other day, the ticker symbol CAN. And uh, it was around 2.45 and he was looking at his stock and he was looking at that one and he starts seeing it just start skyrocketing up, shooting. Or maybe it was like right before three, but it was shooting up, 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 up. And it stopped as it was going up. And um, <clears throat> so remember when I said, if there was some positive news correlated to Bitcoin, th this company, that company, CAN and Mara, that's the other ticker symbol, were correlated. That one went down, but the the, the cheaper stock went up. It's just crazy. Um, so if you guys got something off of that, kudos. And uh, maybe, I don't know, go back in or not. But I'm going to jump into my new topics. Of I've got some two good penny stocks <clears throat> that um, they are uh, in clinical stage uh, drug stocks and they've had positive news in the past in their previous announcements uh, when they were cheaper and they just recently had some more and I'm going to jump into it right now. So the first one is ticker symbol LPCN and that is called excuse me, liposine. What is liposine? Liposine is a clin it's in clinical stage uh, trial stage trial and it focuses on metabolic and endocrine disorders what is metabolic and endocrine disorders it's kind of it's very can it's i had a very hard time I, I was in paramedic school and trying to understand the endocrine system was a i didn't want to go there but um it deals with your pancreas I believe. And uh, yeah, there's a part in the endocrines. But in any event, so what happened was they were going along good. And uh, I guess, let me read this right. So I said, their news was going great. They're what they're at, they're one dollar and 31 cents. However, Earlier today, they were $2.20. And what happened was there was an announcement in the news. So it was on its way up. And then there's an announcement in the news saying, hey, you know, we're not going to FDA approve this right now. We're going to hold off until March 2020. Or sorry, March 2021. And then, um, uh, you know, revisit this. <laughs> Now, when I say this, revisit this, this isn't either saying that it's a negative catalyst nor a positive catalyst. We don't know. But, um, you know, the stock sold off. And if you want to get into it, an ideal price point is $1.20. Um, but if it drops below a dollar, get out of the stock. Get out, sell out. So that's the risk aid, and there's not much room to skedaddle with, you know? Um, so this is David Lee's uh, stuff, not mine. So I'm just telling you, FYI. Um, but you could see a po po something positive happen. Um, some news come out, and it could go up to $1.50, $1.65. So it's a small risk amount to the upside, uh, but it could break out kind of like what happened with Cam today, which just, I couldn't believe it. The drug, now when you look up this lip uh, liposine, there's like four different drugs they're working on. And the one drug that you want to look at 
This is really important that you guys write this down, though, I'm not going to tell you. It's called LPCN1144. Okay? You'll see that. There'll be other drugs names. You want to look at that drug. That's the one we're focusing on for this topic. And, um, you know, they just, what they did was they announced that they have an announced as open label extension to ongoing studies. So, so I, I don't know, I, you could look at that as a positive catalyst or negative. Um, and then they, they went and referred to a previous stock that we had talked about with ticker symbol called MCRB series. And that's $26 and 25 cents. But in August of 2020, it was $3.07. And then around mid-August, it shot up to $26. But that jump. But when you're dealing with farm stuff, this is the type of stuff. That jump or this jump. So it's don't put your eggs in your basket all in here. It's just something kind of maybe fun to like, you know, play around and know it's okay to lose 50 bucks or I don't, I don't know, win a hundred or I don't, who knows, whatever. But, um, you know, it'll give your, keep your mind occupied at least. Um, it'll be, you know, uh, oh, so that was MCRB, sorry. Um, and that was, <clears throat> Ark Invest heavily got involved in this when it was $3.07, bastards. All right, the next drug, drug I'm going to talk about, so don't, like, confuse yourself. I'm not focusing on MCRB as the second drug, or uh, uh, stock we're talking about. The next, this is the next and only, uh, a ticker symbol T-Y-M-E, and that is time. It's for the state program. I mean, time has done really well in the past. It's called Time Technologies. And you look at it right to now, today, today's graph, it's a dollar and 17 cents. Um, at the time this was filmed, it was a dollar and 15 cents. So there's a little indicator about something. And this is a drug that deals with pancreatic cancer. Uh, the drug is called SM Aid, SM Aid, and they are going to be doing. Uh, they're not in final stages. They, the company, drug company, but they're doing a pr presentation. Um, sometime I think in January. And if something is positive and the investors hear something they like about this that makes them want to look deeper into this or buy deeper into this, we could see this stock going up. However, if uh, you want to wait, let me see it right now, it's 117 and he said, D Dave's ideal price point to get into is a dollar. If you can get into it at a dollar. So like if this stock drops down to a dollar, get in on it then. And then you can just see it could go up to a dollar and 30 cents, dollar 40 cents, dollar 70. Um, there's the good thing about this stock versus, oh, I didn't tell you this part. But the, the good thing about this stock is the other stock, it doesn't have a lot of heavily weighted institute. The percentage of win institutions is maybe like 3% on the previous stock. The percentage of institutions weighted on the stock that is given now is 13.8. And the, what was the term? I don't want to say it right. The inside ownership is 13.82. Those are great news is what kind of weird but that's good news um and there's not many short sellers the other one had a lot more short sellers so um their goal is to their goal is to conquer pancreatic cancer and uh what happened today in the stock 
I don't market, I don't know, but I know that Tesla, if you're an owner in Tesla, you are we're awfully rewarded by holding on to your stock and not selling it because you went up 4.3%, 4.23%. Um, there was also an announcement that the UK has a, um, in the midst, UK, um, Oxford Group, AKA Novavax, is in the midst of having a um, drug cure for this new um, COVID strain. So that's very good news. And I wouldn't be surprised if Novavax jumped up a lot tomorrow. So if you guys like this video, push the like button, tell other people about Tuck Notes. I mean, please, uh, it really helps it out. And um, man, if you, <laughs> I, I, I'm so happy for my friend. He did so well. So whatever. I love you guys. Tuck Notes, uh, Instagram, Tuck at Tucker MLL and Tuck's blog or hashtag Tuck's blog. All right. Love y'all. Thanks.